Welcome back to Clean Freak and Germaphobe. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean dirty windows. Now, I'm not talking just regular dirt and grime that gets on windows, but I'm talking about hard water buildup that forms on your windows, especially when they get hit with sprinklers every day. And when you get hard water that is repeatedly put on a surface and then dries over and over again, you get a hard water buildup that is really, really difficult to clean up. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the way that the pros do it. Why do the pros use this method? Well, because they have a lot of windows to clean and they know that this is the fastest and quickest way to clean off the hard water. Now, some people will actually go through with a razor blade to clean off this hard water buildup. And yes, that works, but holy cow, that takes a lot of time and we're busy. We don't wanna waste time doing that, so I'm gonna show you this easy way. But first, if you're new to Clean Freak and Germaphobe, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads about cleaning tips and hacks. But for now, let's clean this hard water. So for this cleaning project, you are gonna need a bowl full of clean water, some rubber gloves, a squeegee, a scouring pad, a microfiber cloth, and finally, toilet bowl cleaner. This is what is going to get your hard water stains off of your windows. Also, if you have eye protection, I recommend that you put that on as well. You don't want the toilet bowl cleaner getting on your skin and you don't want it in your eyes. In addition to that, I wouldn't recommend using this product for just standard window cleaning. This doesn't need to be pulled out for just regular windows with regular dirt and grime on it. I would only use this for windows that are really foggy because of hard water from the sprinklers constantly hitting the window. This is super powerful, super heavy duty, and is not needed for routine cleaning. So what you're gonna wanna do is just apply the Lysol at the top of the window. It is gonna drip down, don't over apply it. You don't want it dripping down off the windowsill into the grass. You just want enough to cover the window, but no more. So I'm gonna put about that much. As you can see, it's starting to drip. From here, get your scouring pad with your gloved hand, dip it in the water, and you're gonna squeeze out as much of that water as you can. You don't want it sopping wet. And then you come back here and you just scrub in circular motions. I needed to apply a little bit more because my sponge was getting dry. From here, you're gonna to wanna to grab your squeegee and go ahead and squeegee off your windows. After you've squeegeed your window, go ahead and dip your sponge into your clean water. And you're gonna use that to rinse off any extra residue that is left on your window and then go ahead and squeegee it one last time. After you've squeegeed your window, I always think it's a good idea to go back and rinse off your squeegee with water and then wipe off any excess. You don't want any toilet bowl cleaner sitting on that for a long time. And then the last step is to grab your microfiber cloth and wipe down the corners and the edges and any places where your squeegee missed. This just touches up the corners and polishes it off to give it a nice finish. And once you are done with your microfiber cloth, you are left with a beautiful, clean, shiny window pane. It's so clean, in fact, that <laughs> I can actually see that it is time to clean the inside of my window. So what i like to know from you is, do your outside windows get hard water buildup like mine do? If so, put that in the comment section down below and also let me know how you like to clean your hard water stains. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to Clean Freak and Germaphobe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Up next, I'm gonna put my video on how to clean the glass in your shower. This is a little bit more natural, a little more gentle, but it works really, really well. And I'm gonna link to that video right here. Click on that video and I will see you over there.